JD Tools here. Today I'm going to be making a stand for a clay pot heater. If your power ever goes out and you need a heater, this is a great option. If you want to save on your electric bill, this is also another great option. If you just want to heat up a little small room, these do work. They do take quite some time. And basically you just put some candles up underneath uh, the small one here. And then put this one on top and I'll show you how to do it throughout the video. Uh, what I did here is I got, it is about five and a half inches uh, at the mouth of the biggest opening of the small pot here. And the large pot here is roughly about seven inches. So really not, uh, not too big, not too small. Really just kind of in the medium range. And let's get started. Here we are cutting the base. Okay, so I went ahead and got the one by one square tubing cut. This is going to be the base where the clay pot set. And I'm going to put some extension pieces on top that hold the small clay pot in a place. I got everything cleaned up. Okay, so I went ahead and got everything tacked up, cleaned everything up here try to make it to where the tacks did not stick out that much and it looks somewhat uniform here when I cleaned up the other side too because I do plan on painting this okay so this pot is roughly about five inches so I'm gonna make my pieces about five inches for it to sit on I've already cut the angle here this is one by one angle and I'm going to tack it up just like that. One on this side and one on the other side. Okay, so I got the mount made for the small pot right here. This is going to sit right there. The candles will go up under here. Remember there has to be enough space up under here for air to get up under there because if you trap uh, anything and there's no space there's no air and the candles will go out then for the bigger pot which is that one there I am going to put two pieces here and two pieces on the other side and that way the bigger pot will set on top and give it room to breathe I'll tack these pieces on. I may come out a little bit so that the bigger pot does set on there securely. Okay, so I went ahead and put the candles right there. Uh, I went ahead and put a cookie sheet on the bottom just to make double sure that if any wax goes through, it doesn't go through any of the crevices there. You probably want to make sure that you do that if you do make this. Uh, I got a box of a hundred of the tea lights Amari and if I find these on Amazon I'll put a link in the description box below and basically you want to go ahead and light these
Put that on there and see how it does. So far, they're all staying lit. Put this other one on top, like here. And so it's gonna sit like so. And then I'll grab my piece of angle iron here and I'll put that on top. I'm gonna get a temperature reading right now. Right now it is 55, 56, 55 degrees. And I went ahead and shut off the heater in the house. It is not running. So you know that we are getting a fairly accurate temperature. It already went up a degree, it looks like, to 57. Okay, so we are at about 18 minutes later. Everything is still lit. And we're going to get a temperature reading here. Whoa. It's 106 degrees down at the bottom. The top, it's 125. Yeah, it's pretty hot. That is just after 18 minutes. It will take time for the heat to disperse out throughout the room. But from my experience, this is one of the best heating methods. I've used it before when the power went out. Really happy with it. I will do another temperature reading here in about 15 more minutes. Okay, so here we are another 15 minutes later here. We are going to get a temperature reading. At 116 degrees. Right here at the bottom. And we're at 140 at the top. And I'm pretty sure that this is pretty accurate. Because I just put batteries in it. The other day. So we're at 118, 142, 142. Seems like it's climbing in the temp. I may wait another 15 minutes. And see if there's any temperature change. Yeah, it's hot. Not as hot down there, but it's hot right there. Okay, another 15 minutes later, a total of 45 minutes. We're going to get another temperature reading. 125. 151. 66 to about 65 66 degrees in here 151 127 so you can see how hot this gets it does get really hot it's almost to the point where i cannot hold my fingers on it it is colder down here even though it's still hot it's 100 and Twenty seven down here, one fifty two up there. Still hot down here, but it's a lot hotter up here as heat does rise. I think it's important to go ahead and put something on top of the hole here. And there you have it. There is your heater pot with a homemade metal stand. With the titanium 125 welder, really happy with that. 
As if there's anything that you want to buy, just look down below at the description box and I will try to put links on some of the stuff here if you want to buy it on Amazon. Again, you can use this if the heater goes out or if you just want to save on electricity. This is highly recommended. I've used this in a bedroom before and it does work. After about three or four hours, you do need to replace the candles. But other than that, uh, very happy with this. And there you go.